Alright buddy, thanks for the fight. See you later. Oh yeah. What's up YouTube? Today is April 10th, 2024. Current time is 10.53 a.m. <laughs> Another super late start to the day. I um, think I'm fishing at the probably worst time to fish at this uh, today, you know, because um, check the tide. It's water is pretty much at low tide and it's going to stay at low tide during my whole, I guess, period of fishing, which is I'm probably going to fish to like it's almost 11 so i'd say like 11 to like maybe maybe four five we'll, we'll just see how the how the bite is but um yeah man i don't know i tried getting out here earlier i just couldn't i couldn't i don't know i'm just yeah whatever but um yeah, i don't know if you guys saw my post but i got up i finally got my first or me finally made my first ever jersey ever i, I guess you, you could say it's a tournament term turn tournament fishing jersey it's a it's something I kind of wanted to do for a while and, you know, finally got it done. Shout out to all my uh, sponsors. You guys definitely, this definitely wouldn't have happened, you know, you know and uh, I wouldn't, I would have never made this, you know, if you guys never really sponsored me. But, um, but, um, yeah, I think after this trip, though, I might take a break from the Delta and try to maybe do some pre-fishing for my, the next, I guess, Yakabass tournament that's coming up. It's going to be... Don Pedro, I think that's the next next Yakabass event. If, yeah. Anyways, um, still haven't fixed my pedal drive. I ordered the new parts, so hopefully I can fix that. If if those parts can't fix my pedal drive, I'm probably just gonna order a refurbished one or something. It's it's like probably like six fifty or something on like the Native Watercraft website. So I I I need the pedal drive, guys. Like you know, it's it's kind of what makes this boat really I guess unique and just. I don't know. That's that's why I kind of love, love this boat too, because I, I don't know. I'm not gonna always rely on the the motor for everything. Like you know, it's nice to have like three different ways of proportion. You know, like the paddling, pedaling, and then you know motorized. But um, yeah, whatever. Um, yeah, boys, let's get it. Hopefully, I can you know do something today. But um, you know, let's go, boys. Stay tuned, relax, and enjoy the video. Let's go. This looks juicy. Look at all this, boys. Now this is a, this is the type of stuff I want to hit, man. I think the water is definitely. Oh, what the? Whoa, 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 whoa.
Let's go. Yes, sir. Oh, my God. Yo, that's crazy. <laughs> Guys, I wasn't really targeting Striper today, but I got one. Let's go, boys, on the Arky Tube. Yes, sir. Definitely keeping this guy. Let's go. <laughs> My camera got cut out, the front one. 23.25 inches, definitely keeping this guy. Did not expect to catch him, but let's go. Got a, got a keeper, man. I'm going for like largemouth bass today. So, I mean, I'll take this guy if he wants to bite. Woo let's go, boys. That's how you get the day started. It's not largemouth bass, but I'll take him. I'm glad I caught something, but today though, goal is to catch at least I'd say at least one, one largemouth bass. <laughs> that guy hit it like a train, man. Oh my God, I need to get back over there. Kind of bent my hook too, it looks like. Wow, that is crazy, y'all. <laughs> Let's go boys, stay tuned. Let's go. Guess they are in the system, so, you know. On the Arky Tube, man. Arky Tube, uh, chatterbait. <laughs> that guy hit it like a tank. <laughs> That's so cool, guys. But, um, yeah, boys, let's get it. Stay tuned. Let's go. I just saw a bass, he was like in. Oh, it's really, like really shallow. Oh my God, there's another bass. That might be the same one I just saw. Could be spawning in this area. Oh, I got a bass, yeah. Oh, it's a bigger one. Let's go. Oh, let's go. Woo. Yes, sir. 
found a pattern, man. I just saw a school of minnow pass by me. And, man. It's good, man. Nice little football. Yes, sir, boys. Let's go. First bass of the day. All right, buddy. Thanks for the fight. See you later. Oh, yeah. Yeah, man, look, I'm just just throwing a little tube on it with the chatterbait, and it's, I guess it's working. No, probably, like, maybe 20, 20 feet uh, away from here. But just, like, like near this spot, you know? Just, like, down that way a little bit. I did see, like, a school of, like, uh, like minnows or shad. They, they look kind of greenish. They didn't really look any, like, silver or any of that. So, so I decided, you know, let's just try this area, you know? See, see what happens. And... And I, I guess I got blessed by a fish. So I caught that bass in like five foot of water. Like right before like this weed line. Because I feel like it's it's a lot easier for these bass to hit these, I guess, minnows or whatever. At this weed line. But man, let's go. Let's get it, boys. Stay tuned. Caught this fish at 105 p.m. Stay tuned. Let's get it. Alright, moving on boys. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. I, I just don't know what to throw right here. Hey, comment below guys. What, what would you guys throw right here? If, you, if you're seeing like bluegills and like little bulbs like what I'm seeing. It's like to me, I don't think they're bass below it. I think they're like, like bluegills eating like mosquitoes or something. But I'm pretty sure there is a couple bass mixed in between these. You know, little bluegills and minnows and all that. I just can't figure out what they want. You know, I figured out what that one wanted, the deformed bass. But maybe, maybe they don't want this. Maybe they want like a slow moving worm. Huh. See, I see these blowers, so I'm not really seeing the fish. Ah, all right, y'all. I think I, I, I gave it a good couple hours, you know. Got a late start today. Didn't really know what to expect. But, um, yeah. Current time is 3.01 p.m. I'll see you guys back at the car for the recap of the day. Stay tuned.
right, guys, here is the recap of the day. Current time is 4.44 p.m., I think. Yeah, it's around that time. Um, I think I only fished for about four hours. Game plan kind of changed up last night. Woke up a little later than I expected. I was going to launch somewhere else, but I ended up... Uh, I guess I ended up coming here. Closer launch to my, my house. Um... Yeah, guys, uh, you know, I was coming in here today thinking I wasn't going to catch anything because I came here when it was like a really low tide and just the water was just going to pretty much stay low the whole time I was here. Did see a couple of seals, so that, that kind of gave me a little hope that, you know, there was maybe some fish around. And, you know, I just, most of the day, you know, I just kept covering water, covering water, try different baits, you know, that's, that's always a game plan for every time I come out. Then, um... I think about like an hour or two into fishing, I came across a little tule patch near like uh, the rocks. Like you, you see them every once in a while. Then um, I don't know, just casting my chatterbait with my Arky lure tube, tube whatever. Never caught a tube, tube fish before with a you know. I never never caught a fish with a tube like a big tube. But uh, yeah, I was throwing the chatterbait and then uh, I thought I got snagged, but I was like, okay, wait, it's pulling some line, and then um. Then I realized it was a big old striper. You know, I did not expect that. Um, thought it was a big bass, big largemouth bass, or spot was spotted or something. But it was a big striper, y'all. You know, I kept it. Probably gonna end up giving it away. Yeah, I'm probably gonna end up giving it away, or I don't know. If no one wants, no one of my family wants it. I'll probably just keep it for myself, or I don't know. But um, yeah, after that, it was pretty dead for a while. I think like another hour or two pat passes by or passed by you know I kept covering water throwing different baits and I noticed so when I was coming up on um I guess a area I don't really know how to explain the area also I was seeing like some like big schools uh, or I saw like one or I saw like one school of like a uh one big school of like shad or minnows or some kind of bait fish and I, I saw a couple little blow-ups so I decided you know let's just this, there, there was like a weed line and I was kind of throwing like a little like two, one or two feet away from like the weed line so I, I was casting in like probably five to six feet of water just throwing it because like where where, the, where I saw those school where, where I saw that big school of bait they were like in probably one to like three foot of water and covered in weeds a lot. so like even if I tried throwing my chatterbait in there it would have got stuck instantly so you know I just stayed in my five to six foot chatterbait tube Keep th kept throwing it a couple times and then what do you know got a bass got a bass man i'm proud you know it's you know it's like a half a day and then pretty much after that though it's it was dead you know I, I didn't really know what to do you know i just kept like i said earlier i was just covering water throwing different baits and i don't know it's just Man, I thought, hopefully the Delta picks up in like a month or two, man. I, I missed the, there was like one time last year where I had like a really good day and I probably caught like probably 20 to 30 bass. And hopefully I can catch maybe, maybe 40 or 50 bass in one day next, this year, maybe in a couple months, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Wearing my, my jersey, this sir. First ever jersey. Um, But yeah, guys, that's pretty much the recap, you know. um, I don't know. Delta sucks right now for me at least. Hopefully it picks up soon. I'll probably try in like a, a month or maybe like for sure like I'll try it at least one time next month. Hopefully it's good. But um, yeah boys that's the recap. If you guys uh, enjoyed the video or learned something new please like, comment, and subscribe. I'm out. Peace.